Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna have a little look at a server that I've been playing with I've gotten some parts, ordered some parts and I want to show you um, what I've come up with so far I'm not gonna be installing anything or powering anything up I just want to share my thoughts on um, extending a server from 8 drives to 16 drives so let's go to the table and see what I'm up to I have a Lenovo X3650 Model 3 and these are widely available used nowadays in the front of that it has eight bays here and there are two fillers and I would like to try and put in some more drives than this so I've been um, collecting parts and as you might have seen over here there are some parts laying around and I had a colleague that uh, just happened to have this laying around and um, this is for extending and putting in more drives in your Lenovo server here so we're gonna try and have a look at that there's a lot of options available for this this is probably one of the cheaper ones these can be put in one at a time or they can be put in uh, two at a time and also available is one where they are put together and also one where there is an extender built into the back of the boards with a server like this it normally only comes for two of these that's why there is only eight bays in this one this server originally came ready for putting in eight drives if you want to put in 16 drives you have to buy more stuff for it and these parts are quite expensive when you go out and buy them afterwards so let's um, let's have a look at this so this is the back plane as it came when the server was bought um, out of that came two cables here that goes into a do we have some we have something this it's not this one but it could be something similar sitting right here a, a rate controller card and these two plugs would go into that and well that would handle these drives but available is these extension things so this is all over the place so you can pop these in and um, it's it's rather simple each of these pcbs uh, fits i'll just get rid of one more of these fans to make this more visible they pop in down here and they are really easy to install you just put them in and click them in place and they're in there uh, the cables are not really that happy about that but I'm sure we'll get them there they're in place the power cable for it will fit down here on the system board uh, just outside of you and there is a there's a little thing here that we um, I've, I've taken that out we will have to see uh, see that later uh, how did I do that anyway Oh, it goes that way okay it was sitting down here I took it I took it out so it's over there but it has a power plug and that fits down here on the system board we will plug that in in just a little bit and there is two additional cables but now I have four cables and the controller cards that these servers come with uh, the normal ones only have two so I went on um, the big dangerous internet I actually got this from China and this is not an, a Lenovo part it's an LSI controller it's the 00137 controller card and I got this because it was dirt cheap uh, I paid $28 for this and a little bit in shipping so that was really well priced and it has four connections so this will handle 16 drives it's only a 3 gigabit per second rate controller card but well it should be able to handle at least you know, it should be good for this it's no problem if maximum speed is not the issue and you just want a lot of drives well this will do just fine and um, to play with this I need to 
take off this. You could of course place it back in the server, but well, the cables are not long enough, so we're gonna take this off. There. And in the M3 and the M2, there is a room for it right here. There is a little bit of things in the way. For example, there is a cable holder thing here. Uh, I'm afraid will um, get in my way. So um, I'm not gonna be installing this permanently in this server. So I would bend this out of the way to get rid of that. Or I uh, might have to break it off. Also, there is a riser piece of plastic down here. I think we need to move the camera angle to see that. Yeah, I think you can see that there is a little plastic thing right there. And that's meant to go in to one of these holes to keep the, the cart steady when it's in there. But that one is meant for the carts that mm, can go in here. Not not this one, this is too small. That one will, will fit the ho first hole. But, and so with, will this one. If we put that down there, um, we can we can take this. This is the smallest riser card I've ever seen. You have this in the Lenovo X3650 Model 2 and Model 3. And that's more or less only meant for the brake controller card here. So we can plug that in here. Kind of. It's a really tight fit. There, but well, it, it doesn't fit very well because different stuff is in the way. Uh, mostly that plastic thing down there is really in the way. So you would, I would have to cut that off um, to get that down. I think I'm gonna try and remove this plastic thing. There are some power things down here that you don't wanna get in touch with, but. Um, for this, I think I'll just try and remove it and see how that fits then. Oh, okay, that connection has to come out first. There. And there is apparently some controller things down there that you don't want to damage. I see this is probably a power meter to see how much power the the system is using but well for this we're just gonna borrow that place and this is where the power goes this is bay one and this is bay two for the rest of the powers for the for the drives so I would put down I would put in this plug here is that ah it doesn't fit what the hell does this fit in then Guess you would have to get another plug. This is like a V splitter. It splits out into two cables, and this one is too big. Uh, the other one does kind of exactly the same. Uh, maybe not exactly, but very similar, um, and goes into this plug right here. But apparently this doesn't fit down there. So these extension things might be for the model two. I haven't really checked that out. I don't think it will work just pushing it in there when this cable is too long. Hmm, damn. But we'll, we'll check the rest of it if that would have been good. So this one could go down here now. And there is some, there are some pins right here. That would get in the way really fast because this metal thing would short circuit everything. So that wouldn't be good. Okay, that would that would be how it would sit. And there is a plug down here. There is something on board as well. So uh, the cables would be a mess. It would be pretty hard. Well, these cables would be okay. They would go in really nicely. These would be pretty hard to get in there. So it might be a better option to actually pull everything back. Well, this might not be the best option for this. Mm. I thought that was brilliant. But, 
There's not a lot of room to get the cables in there and stuff. So maybe we have to move it down here. So we would have to put it in one of these slots here. I'll put this back on. in there yeah that would that would fit in there uh, let's see but, but now the cables are too short but I do have a solution for that I actually bought one of these cables for something different and that should that's and that would be way far enough to go from there to there so that would be good no problem, but I need to solve the plugging in power for the base down there. This Y splitting cable that I thought would be good, but is not good. Let's just see that problem. Maybe someone can help me fix that. But to plug in power for the base, uh, this connection is wrong. Uh, I don't know which one it's for, but it's it might be for a IBM Model 2 and not a Model 3. So it's too long. So I would need a I would need a Y splitter for this connector to become shorter like this connector. Hmm. It kind of says all the places where it's 12 volts. It's probably more or less so that half of the connection, the top part would be 12 volt and the bottom part would be ground. But well, I'm not gonna trust that. Well, I think I need to go get some more spare parts before I continue this. I can put this one back on. <laughs> okay, this power connector is... It's the, the connector is longer in one end than the other end. And this connector on the other one is longer than even the longest one. But, oh, does it fit down there? That doesn't fit either. Hmm. Well, I guess I have to dig into this some more. Copyright 2008. This might be from a Model 2. Probably is from a Model 2. I don't see where else it should be from. Here is a Model 2 instead. So let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it has a long connection down there and it has a shorter connection because the Model 2 only have room for 12 drives where the Model 3 has room for 16 drives. So the Model 2 has the longer connection for, for the 8 drives and a shorter connection for the last four drives that's where my trouble is you can see the long connection here and it there is prepared for a shorter connection there for the next four drives and this is the longer connection that comes uh, that is just like this one so these were taken out of a model 2 and I needed some for a model 3. Hmm. Well, we became a little bit smarter on that one. I would have to go dig some more and see if I can come up with some plan to put those in, in some way. So, well, if you have any good suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, it would be awesome to have some help on this if you know anything about it. So. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye.